Hello friends, welcome to Friday 5 and in this week we will see 5 rendering manager software. So first thing first, what is rendering manager software? Rendering manager softwares are standalone softwares that help you in your rendering process in various ways like they can manage your render sequences, they can help you to start and resume pause your rendering they can distribute your renders in multiple machines and uh, they can uh, get some uh, automation process uh, like if the render is complete send the notifications and all so these softwares are really very helpful in visual effects production and we'll see five softwares uh, that you can use in your production and that will help you in the rendering process so first We'll start with the free and open source softwares. So the number one is uh, FNC that is from CGRU. You can download this to application from CGRU.info and you can find the link in the description. This software is free and open source and you can use it for remote computing. So it's basically all the distributing tasks which you want to uh, submit in the multiple machines that can easily handle with this software. This is pretty good and available for Windows and Linux. And with this tool you can also get some other utilities like Movie Maker and Keeper. So if you go with this, soft, uh, this website, you can find out some uh, things related to this. So, and also you will find some uh, uh, integrated plugins with, for After Effects, Blender, Cinema 4D, Houdini, uh, Max Maya. So you can just uh, launch your render directly from your application, 3D application or compositing application. So this software is really very helpful. Also you will find um, uh, some other utilities you can check it out these all are free and open source you can use it in your production and uh, there is a, a good community uh, for uh, render farm uh, this software so you can just uh, query your uh, uh, things and uh, definitely you will find answer on internet because there are quite people who are using the softwares in their production and uh, also they're in, in their R&D so this is pretty good software so i would recommend you can use this software right also the documentation of uh, cgr your fantasy is uh, very good you can uh, go to their website and you can find out like how things will work in after effects and things are uh, display very clearly with the images so you can get a clear idea that how your jobs will be submitted to the farm and uh, how it will look like you can also see some uh, these uh, images preview when the render is completing the side by side you can see that okay this is the progressive image preview of your render and also uh, for blender and other softwares you can easily find out like how to set it up in your application so it's pretty good and a pretty good explanation about how you can set it up so uh, you will not find any difficulty to use this so yeah you can use this software as a rendering manager software in your production okay now let's move to second uh, software now the second uh, rendering software you can find is renderbox uh, this is advanced rendering manager which help you to manage your batch renders and it will also give you some progressive result of uh, how your rendering progress is going on. So basically when you do any batch render from any software, you will find only the, the some sort of code or command line things that will happen. But you will not get a uh, proper uh, display of the uh, progress which is going on. So with this tool, you can easily track your things like... Uh, what is the rendering process and uh, how much percentage rendering is done how much cpu you are using and uh, what's your memory use is also you can uh, track all the all the render jobs which you already submitted and if you want to preview the render or if you want to open the file and you you have some good uh, uh, options here whenever you right click on the job you will find good options there and uh, for this there are uh, connectivity plugins for Maya, Blender and Nuke 
so you can uh, launch render directly from your application so that's good and there are some other features you can find out uh, from this website technical director dot in slash render box and one of the main advantage that I would recommend for this software is you can start pause and resume mostly from batch render if uh, something happen your system crash and you uh, have to start your batch render from um, from that frame which uh, the system interrupt so with the render box uh, this can easily track which is the last frame which was rendering and after that from next frame the rendering will start so that uh, there are few smart features which is included in the render box so you can use this and this software is completely free you can use it even in your production there is no restriction in this tool and uh, this uh, render box is only available for windows right now but uh, soon uh, the linux build will be available so you can check it out this website right so now let's move to some paid software uh, for them uh, you have to pay to use the softwares so let's start cube is one of the best paid alternative for rendering uh, software or rendering managing software so you can definitely consider that if you have budget in your production you can consider this in your production uh, software and uh, there are few uh, main advantage which uh, make this software uh, really worth is uh, you can find this is as a um, this is multi-threaded supervisor contained in that in this feature and also uh, there are, you will find the user interface is pretty artistic and uh, there are some uh, good statistics view for your render jobs and all all the work tasks which is going on on the farm so you can easily analyze things how things will be going on and uh, also you can uh, find uh, this software you can install this software on window mac and linux so it's uh, in any platform it will work fine and uh, there are some other options like if you have multiple systems like even in windows uh, if you uh, share your uh, data from one server so this uh, cube is having a, a advantage to drive the window map so that main features and also if you have the production management software shotgun in your production so cube is having the shotgun software integration with that and also you will find some launchers with that so you can directly launch things from your application to cube so these are the pretty good advantage of cube and also you will like the user interface you can try the software you will find a free trial of this software and you can try with your favorite applications like Houdini, Nuke, Mari and Maya, After Effects, Pixar Renderman, Vray these all are supported by uh, this uh, application cube so also the support of this uh, is very good from pipeline effects so i will definitely highly recommend that if you have budget in your production you can go with cube and uh, this is good solution for rendering form uh, and uh, submit your renders on a render form for distributed rendering system all right so now let's move to next paid alternative for render form Renderpal is also a very good uh, system mm -hmm. for uh, rendering the uh, uh, rendering the files on the multiple machines. I personally use this software in production, and I found this is very good software. And uh, there are mm -hmm. pretty good features in that, like you can set the priorities, you can see the graph, how things will going on in the um, in the rendering side, right? So yeah, this is a very good software. And uh, if you want to try this software, you can try that. Uh, you will get a free license with three nodes. And uh, but for three machine, it will work like uh, you can play with uh, all the functions with the uh, render pal. So you can create a server, and uh, you can create some clients, and you can submit your job. You can uh, control the things uh, from uh, client to server. So you can play around that and you can find out and if things are going all right so you can go with the license version or to get the more client or more uh, slots for your uh, rendering uh, uh, machines all right 
so try this software and uh, of course you you also share your feedback like how you find this software useful all right so now let's move to our fifth software now again we have another paid option for rendering managing software that is uh, deadline from thinkbox softwares and this software is also uh, it's quite long uh, in the uh, production like I when I started in around 2008 I found I used this software and uh, and after that I didn't use that only one year I used this software but uh, but this software I found like a lot of people talking about that this software is very good and uh, yeah so again the features are same if you are going with the paid you will find more options like uh, a better control of the rendering like uh, and better navigation better user interface you will get more statistics to, to analyze things uh, better in your rendering production so definitely you can consider thinkbox uh, deadline software for in your rendering uh, pipeline also uh, you will get some uh, tools uh, for some app application add-ons so you can directly send uh, your renders from uh, application like Maya and um, After Effects, Unio, Houdini to Deadline. Okay, so these are the pretty good information which I think I would like to share with you guys. So may, there are some other tools also, but for Friday, Friday Five, I just cover um, these five softwares. Okay, so I will see you next Friday. Thanks for watching my videos. I will upload new video on every Monday and Friday. Subscribe this channel to get update of upcoming videos. See you in next video.